off the line Always in the north side Chilling with my other guys You know what it's like What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make a grime using John Wick. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the first thing you want to do, like always, you want to come up here and drop the opacity down on your picture. It's good enough where your line work can stand out. Then you want to lock that layer, create you a new layer. And now, if you're using a digital tablet, you'll be able to get this pen pressure brush option. You always see me using all my videos, so I'm using a UG tablet right now. So. I'm finna set my brush and what we finna do, we finna come right here. We finna come right here to new brush. Then we're gonna hit okay. Then we gonna go to pressure. Change this bottom number to three. We're gonna hit okay. And now I got the brush I always use. And all it is is a pressure brush. It's not no special brush, it's just pressure. Meaning, if I press down light, it'll give me a light line. If I press down hard, it'll give me a thicker line. So, that's all I use, you know what I'm saying? What you want to do when you're making grimes, the zombie grimes, all you got to do, man, is just come here, make a nice little outline of certain features that's on the face, but also improvise by adding your drill, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna bring this line over. We're gonna put a drill right here. And it's all preference, but if you, if you get it flowing pretty good, and you create a nice little method to make nice consistent drips, and the best thing to do is always make your, your drips flow kinda in the same direction. You know what I'm saying, don't like, if. You see how I got all my drips going in one direction. It's going straight down. And I'm making it. I'm not making it too consistent. Don't make your drips like where it's just too consistent. You know what I'm saying? You got to give it some variation. So I'm just adding some different. Different styles of drip. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna put one right here. Right there. See that one? Another drip right there. Go ahead. Make his eyes. Everything looking nice and clean. We're gonna add probably one more drill right here. Go ahead and shake this face off. This ear drill. Yeah, I got the same, I got the same consistency going with the drip as far as what direction the drips is flowing. Now what I like to do is to make my brush a little smaller and right under the eyes I like to make it connect.
Nice little drip under the eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? Now what we need to do, you need to come over here to your pencil tool. Make sure your settings is exactly like mine. Hit OK. Move this color black to the top. Make sure the bottom one stay locked. And now we're going to do the fill in for all the hair on his face. We'll come right here. Start out with his little five buttons. Now what we about to do, we about to add the drip under the neck. You know what I'm saying? Just let that thing come around. Messed up right there, so I'm gonna step back. Anytime you wanna delete, you just hit Control and Z. Okay, cool, that's it. That is it. Go back to my pencil tool. I can fill in this area. And we got some clean looking line work. Let's go ahead and add our 3D drip with the pencil tool. brush back out. Now we can come on. Let's add some more drips. For, give it more detail. Now that we finish with the drill, you know what I'm saying? What you wanna do? Wait, wait, we ain't finished yet. Let me go back to my pencil tool. And wanna make this dark. Make that dark. Now that we finish with our drip, what we gonna do, we gonna highlight everything. We gonna go to object, expand appearance, and click merge on our pathfinder so we can make all our lines become one. We gonna duplicate our line work layer and lock the top copy. And we gonna fill this in with our pencil tool. So you wanna have your pencil tool selected, make sure the color is on top, change it to any color you would like. Okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make them um, make them um, yeah, green. So now I'm just gonna just fill in this 
face. And fill it in. A pencil tool. So we can get these little corners. Now that we got the color layer down pat, we're gonna create us a new layer right above that one. And we're gonna add the, the eye color and the lip color. So let's go back to our pencil tool, just change the color. Filling these eyes just like that, like that, just like that. We got filling the lip color. Right, we got the lip color and the eye color already laid down what you want to do let's create another layer right under that under our eye layer and we gotta make bags under the eyes we put everything on its own layer so just in case we want to switch colors out and, and make it different you know what i'm saying if you don't like what you got so it's always good to make its own layer. And put the drips under the eyes. Now we got the drips. Under the eyes, now it's time to work on the shadows. So what we're gonna do, let's create us a new layer right on, right above the green skin layer. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna sample the skin layer and we're gonna find us a nice little shadow for what I think that'll do right there. Go to our pencil tool and let's place all these shadows. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at my original picture and I'm basically copying it. But I'm also, while I'm following the original shadows, wherever I place the drips at, I'm gonna place shadows underneath the drips. So it'll, it'll stand out, it'll pop out more. So we got a shadow right here. Picture. Got shadows right under the eyes. But I still gotta incorporate my drips. So bring that shadow right here. Bring this one right here. We gonna make these shadows darker. So let me highlight my shadows. The object expand, click merge, so I can make them all become one. Let's go to edit color, adjust color balance, go to preview, 
on this and make this just a little tad bit darker. I also alter these colors a little bit. Okay. Let's give it a nice little shadow, man. Now, let me see what else we're going to do. Are we still on this layer? What we can do? Go ahead and sample our shadow color. And we can add some shadows underneath some drips. Shadow right there. We're just putting it on a, a lot of drips, man, so it'll give it more, more detail. And it'll make it make the drip stand out a little more. And as you can see, I'm putting it under the drips. And I'm just being consistent with the shadows. Now that we got all our dark shadows in the right place, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create us a layer right above the purple. And we're gonna find a shadow for that. So let's sample that purple. Find us a nice little shadow for it. Go back to our pencil tool. We're gonna do the same method. Place a nice shadow under the drips. Create us another layer right above the eye color and the lip color. And let's create shadows for the lips and the eyes. So, go ahead and find me a nice little shadow to place inside the eyes. Okay. On this side, do the same as that thing. I would need to come down here to the lips. We need to place some shadows on the lips. So, sample the top lip color. Sample the top lip. Find us a nice shadow for it. Now, gonna use that same shadow for this bottom lip. Now that we finish with our cartoon here, what you want to do, you want to get out the color white. You know what I'm saying? Get out the color white, go back to your brush tool, and we're going to add some highlights on the drips to make it look like it's wet. So you just want to come on some of these drips. So, white line. Make it look like that thing is just like it's tripping. Like a slime, you know what I'm saying? Now, last but not least, we finna add the hair texture. 
So what you want to do, you want to create a layer right above everything. Then you want to come to your gradient on your uh in your swatch library. You want to come to your like black and white gradient or any gradient. And then you want to come to your gradient chart right here. And you want to make both of the corners black. Move the bottom to a hundred on both sides. And you can make it fade in to any color. I like to make mine fade in. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little color so it don't just fade straight into a gray. All right, now we're gonna change the middle color. Make it a little brighter. Now we got our hair. We got our hair brush. So what I'm finna do with that? I'm gonna add some highlights in this hair. there you have it you guys how to make a zombie grime you know what i'm saying in no time make sure you stay tuned more he coming soon and i'm out this thing